It's the crisis that's shattering our farmers' livelihoods and threatening everything that they've ever worked for. And sadly, this drought, it's just showing no signs of letting up. Stephen German, he's from Wingham in New South Wales, and he's a typically resilient fourth generation dairy farmer. But he's now on the brink of having to shut the gates at his farm for good. So we decided we'd visit him with a bit of a surprise. And this is all thanks to the lot for Today's the Day. Desperate for rain and struggling to survive, this devastating drought has left Stephen German's once lush farm now bone dry. Oh, I find it very hard to keep going considering uh, no rain and lack of money. We're uh, financially on our knees and it's been very hard to, uh, to keep rolling on. Um, I live in like La La Land, I think, a lot because I think that things are going to get better, but it's going to take a long time for this to turn around. In your heart, man, how do you feel when you look at your cows these days? I, I enjoyed going getting the cows and bringing them home and looking at your cows on the way home. And it's not a job I like doing anymore. You know, we started off with 200 cows um, milking less than three years ago, and we're back down to what, 78 cows at the moment. So it's, um, it's certainly a kick in the gut. So. Stephen comes from a long line of dairy farmers. Put simply, it's in his blood. But with the recent drought and crippling milk prices, he's unable to feed his cows. He's drowning in debt and now close to shutting the farm gates forever. How long does it take for a government to realise that they're killing an industry that was the backbone of Australia at one stage, you know? Every one of my kids is, could step into the dairy and take over at any time. Um, but I would never encourage a kid to walk into what we're walking in. This is a this is murderous to the industry and it's murderous to families. What's been the hardest day for you? Oh, probably knowing that my family don't get what they need. It's um, I, I reckon like some most nights I get four and a half, maybe five hours sleep of a night time because it just goes over and over in your head. Do you love your job? I do love my job, but it's it's certainly taken its toll on us, that's for sure. Without water, you've got nothing, and that's where we're at now, so it's worrying us. Stephen's proud tradition has become a heavy burden for the entire family. Oh. Pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty hard with the drought and everything. It really upsets me thinking about that we might have to give up the farm. It's just, it's been tough for a, lot, a long time now, and the fact that we're still here and we're still going, we're still fighting, it's just amazing. Yeah. Like so many other Australians who are facing extraordinary hardship, Stephen is the kind of guy that would rarely ask for a hand. So we wanted no, to bit, step in. Your cows are starting to get a bit on the skinny side here. I mean, does that start to hit home that you've, you've almost run out of feed? Oh, it's not a matter of run out of feed. We've run out of feed. We're just bloody hoping that a bit of rain comes. Oh, just, we're just going further and further into debt. And I'm no different than any other farmer. We, we're all doing the same thing, sort of thing. It's just on different scales, so, yeah. So the, the very kind folk at the lot have heard about your story and wanted to help you out with $10,000 to help try and make ends meet for a little while longer and hopefully make a difference here and make sure that you and the family aren't doing it so tough. I don't know what to say. Thank you. And, and yeah, um, it will. It'll go to keep us going anyway for a little bit longer. That's probably going to blow away there, but mate, you're a man that deserves it very much. And I know, like you said, there's a lot of farmers out there. You said are doing exactly the same. But yep. if we can help one person through, hopefully they can help the next person through, and on and on. Yeah, it means it, it, it does mean a lot. It's a bit overwhelming at the moment. I've got to say, it's um, not something I expected. So I'm more worried about the whole industry, you know. We need, we need help. Though we can be strong, though we can be strong enough.
Yeah, it was so good just to help Stephen. He's the most classic salt of the earth lovely. farmer yeah, out there, color. and his family absolutely lovely as well. And I was talking to him after we finished there, yeah. just saying, you know, what else can people do to help? And he was just saying, if you're going to buy milk, don't grab the dollar mm. milk from the supermarket. Make sure you get the the branded uh, one because so much more of that money goes back to our farmers who clearly are doing it really mm. tough. So if if you want to help out. Devon Dale is his mob, but other uh, brands of milk as well. That's how you support our homegrown industries.